only assume this is Red Robin Versus and Solar. Soul Arts. Yeah, I got wow, the Wow, we are so tech. smart. Okay. You know how I guessed that? Because, I mean, there's only one Shulk player and there's only one Red Rob Robin. Robin. There's only one Robin. There's only one Bobbin. Yo. Ah. Oh. Another boy. Uh, man, I'm working on it. Once. Oh, we believe in Switch us. headsets. Switch. So we got, we got sword character versus sword character. Gimmick versus gimmick. Yeah, but, I mean, Solaris is pretty good at his gimmick. Like, probably... Oh, okay. Hello? Test, Hello. Test Arena? Test. Okay. There we Test. go. Hell yeah. We also have a lot of bad things happening to good people on the mic. I had to come because this is uh, my doubles partner. That might have been the fastest I've ever heard anyone say your name in the like history of ever. <laughs> you yeah. got to practice I'm, it. I'm very impressed. I appreciate it. Thank you. Anyway, so we got two. Oh, okay. We have a very explosive matchup. I know that that's kind of a buzzword that's thrown around, but I mean, Shulk Robin is the definition of explosive. You have a character that can go smash art and kill you at any percent, but can also go shield and live forever. Yeah. And you've got Robin, who has these crazy kill combos, but sometimes kind of struggles to clutch it out because of that subpar yeah, speed. Yeah, gimmicks. Gimmicks. So, yeah. Gimmicks. <laughs> that's, that's a way to put it. <laughs> Definitely yeah. very strong gimmicks, gimmicks. if anything. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh good dunk. But I, I think these gimmicks are pretty fun to watch. Yeah, no, you? absolutely. Uh, this game's definitely very entertaining. Yeah, so Solart's definitely known to be a player who pushes his advantage. Um, Whoa! And, uh, <laughs> and, you know, he goes for all these crazy Great. spikes and fares off stage. so... Thank you, Dark Souls. Yeah. I, oh, he stopped it. He stopped yeah. the high air uh, cross. What's it called? Backslash. Backslash. Yeah, that's so much love to go for. Good Cross snipe. Counter. Jesus. Wow. Red Rock. Taunt. Red oh my god. <laughs> Feeling himself. There is confidence being displayed here. And absolutely. I mean, Ooh, it's I being backed up so. 100%. <laughs> the way it's going right now, can't blame him. Yeah, absolutely. He's <gasps> definitely cooking right now, no pun intended. Yeah, we just saw right there, though, from Solar. It's um, you know, in, th in this game, uh, Arc Fire is a much better move for trapping people and for hitting shields. Yeah. But in exchange, you can just attack it and it cancels the projectile completely. And against other sword characters, that can be a, a problem. But Red Robin working around that right now, not yeah, really definitely. relying on projectiles at all. Yeah, Red Robin is definitely like going in and doing it like a lot better than I've seen most people handle. Um, like Solaris is very good at like being able to just like keep you where he needs you know like uh, I don't want to call it zoning, but like kind of. Yeah. Like he's able to like Space put control. you where he needs you. He's able to like control distance. Very yeah, well. space control. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like in fact, Red Robin's able to find these in. Wow, <laughs> how does he? What that a was perfect. You know, wow. Sometimes amazing wow. air drift. Oh, and, and shield just came out you know, like over. You see a wild mix up like that, and you might think like, "There's no way that would work." Right? There's, there's no way. Yeah. But yeah. popping off. I mean, it shows that you know, if you have the right state of mind, you get him in the right position, you can make anything work. You know. Dude, I wish we had cameras. I know Kevin's probably popping off. Yeah. Like in his own Kevin ways. Um, but you know, one thing that Solar Arts is very good at is that man does adapt. Yeah, so, 100%. Um, I, I've seen that man like come through one day, get bopped by this one dumb gimmick, come back the next day, like clean 2 0, never again. It's absolutely. not happening. But the question now is can you do it over the course of one set? You know? Yeah. Uh, best of threes is not a lot of time to do that. Mm -hmm. Luckily for uh, Solar Arts, though, uh, Shulk is a character that lends himself to a ton of different play styles. So yeah. one moment you might see a Buster Shield Shulk, you know, going for that damage and kind of skew the knockback ratio in his favor. Next oh. time you can camp with jump and shield, you know? Yeah, so shield. It's so cool because it feels like he's playing completely different characters. Mm. Uh, it, that's, Shulk's, like, Shulk's uh, neutral B gimmick is definitely, like, very strong. Like, it grabs you iframes. I've seen Solar Arts dodge some oh, yeah. silly stuff with it, like, a bunch. I love when he jumps on a ledge and then he, um, he air dodges into the ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he cancels it with the iframes. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. It's wild. And it's not, like, it's not even, like, a funny gimmick. It's, like, a genuinely scary, too. Yeah. Like, it's something you have to look out yeah, for. They're definitely, like, ha-ha-ha gimmicks, and they're definitely, like, you should be afraid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. No. No problem. I grabbed just whip. Like, I, I don't think she spot dodged in time. Yeah. Um, we do know from the, the uh, one uh, video that was recently put out that, um, you know, if you have 11 hits consecutively on your block from mm -hmm. Rapid Jab, you're able you to roll out. In. Yep. But, you know, players, the counterplay to that is you just let go of the Rapid Jab immediately. Mm -hmm. Then they might, you know, buffer a roll, and you might not get a huge punish even though they just exactly. Rapid Jab your block. Yeah. So maybe that was going for Maybe you got a spot dodge by accident. But exciting game right now. Close. Yeah, absolutely. Robin oh. definitely has to worry about those uh, upbeats because she has a limited amount. Yeah. You know what? I, oh, okay, I was gonna Ooh, say. That's, oh, that was so good. Yeah. Wow. Shulk oh, he switches to jump bad. immediately. Yeah, of course. And I was gonna say, you know, what I find interesting right now is that you know Solarts is known for running off and going for those aggressive forward airs through edge guard. You know, yeah, it's absolutely. a really strong move and it has very little end lag, so it's a, it's a great option for edge guarding. But looking like he might not be confident against edge guarding Robin right now. You know, he's not really attempting it. When he does, he's getting hit back. Yeah, absolutely. He almost died because of it, even. Absolutely. 
It was good oh. until definitely closing up that sock pretty well. Uh, it was a bit of a rough one, but he was able to get through. Yeah. Uh, Red Robin definitely not too far behind, though. So, like, one good hit is definitely going to close it out, but Sora is definitely uh, putting a hurt on him. That's what I'm saying. I mean, Robin, known for explosive uh, kill power, can end your stock in just a couple of hits, mm -hmm. but because you don't have that speed, sometimes Shulk lives to 171, like he yeah, did just there. I, and we've seen Solarts on this stream live to like crazy percentage yeah. just because of shield and like, especially in Smash 4, forget about oh, it. Oh, that, that man has the will to live, especially yeah, with shield art. Absolutely. I wonder if, was the shield switch intentional there? Uh, you know, I, I didn't catch the exact situation, but Sean, you know, he knows every single move at low percent that he can do to get out of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you're playing against the Cloud with Shulk, Cloud hits you with a cross slash, low percent. Uh, switch to Shield Art, immediately punish him for hitting you. Of course. And Sean is so on the ball with switching exactly when he needs to. Um, no, it's an important part of making Shulk good. The idea of, like, Shulk being able to just, like, press up... Sorry. Uh, the fact that, like, uh, Shulk is able to just switch and to, like, shield and just make things minus on hits is oh, yeah, absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> might be a little bit of a shock to people coming from uh, other fighting games, but yeah, this is Shulk, man. He's not care about the rules. He has a Monado, and he's ready to uh, to make your day. Of course. Oh, arc fire is barely yes. missing. You know, the shallower angle in this game, a lot better for neutral. Uh, mm -hmm. But sometimes, you it know, uh, right over, when you're yeah. expecting the old one, yeah, it just goes right over your head. Wow. Oh, that was a very unfortunate. A complete reversal of the situation from last game. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about with the other uh, yeah. the soul arts. Yeah. Adapting, yeah. And not necessarily, like I said, you know, adapting to the player. It's just um, <laughs> really, really uh, just. Yeah. Still very, like, definitely doable for Murder Robin, though. Just has yeah. to win neutral a few times and uh, definitely can lay on the damage. Yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, but there's also that um, element, as I was saying, like, of the, the Shulk himself switching up the play style and you know, having these yeah, different absolutely. arts. Look at how much more Sean is going mm -hmm. uh, speed art in neutral and yeah. really evading how Red Robin is choosing to play. You yeah. know? Not Red only yeah. trying to get things started, he's running away from it. But as I say that, um, like I said, Robin sometimes doesn't kill forever, but mm -hmm. also shokes and kill percent right now. Yeah, Couple of good fires, it's over. <laughs> What's like the really good part about it is it switches up Shulk's playstyle and like it, it's able to mess with the other opponent, like with the opponent too. Not only because um, he's playing differently, but also because of the tempo change, which is also like super important. Yeah. Like just all right, like Shulk with like average speed if you're doing like Buster Shield, but now he's switching to speed and he's on top of me at like every two seconds. Yeah. And you honestly you have to think about the psychology, right? Because if you're Red Robin, I mean, you think I just took a game off of Solar, he's an amazing player. Yeah. But I mean, there can be a tendency to want to just close it out, you know, finish yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And Solarts is smart, and he knows that he can play in ways that capitalize on that. Yeah, of course. So if Red Robin here tries to be more aggressive, maybe tries to throw out more hitboxes, Solarts is going to use his speed. Uh, he's going to use, you know, all the tools he has to keep Red Robin from getting anything started. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's crazy how it would kind of work against you to be in the lead sometimes. But um, we'll see what... Uh, Red Robin has in store for Solar. It's yeah. on Kalos. Game three. Yeah. I definitely think this is like a very good stage for Red Robin. Um, this is like, I, I man, I'm surprised like this stage hasn't been like a counter pick or something. This stage is so big. People don't realize this. Mm -hmm. It's uh, been the secret joke of me and uh, Frank, who's uh, Hangman, to uh, not let anyone realize how big the stage is, because <laughs> all of us played zoners at one point. Oh, that's great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I actually personally, you know, playing uh, my guy Fieri, I know that like <laughs> the boy. He, he and many other characters have these amazing escape options. They can do from one side of the stage to the other with those platforms. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and I, I'm sure we'll see um, that even though Red Robin gets great reward off it, you'll see that when Sean is in the lead and you know if push comes to shove, this man will use jump art and you will not be able to touch him. Mm -hmm. So it, it's yeah, I worry for Red Robin on Kalos. Um, you know when Sean gets to that kill percent. It's going to be really hard to get him out of that shield arc because he's going to be doing yeah. um, what they call, uh, I believe, ghost walking in the Shulk Discord, which is camping with jump and getting shield. <laughs> <laughs> Always have a name for everything. Of uh, course. Sean himself loves to make fun of that. Um, they have their own, like, Miriam Webster for uh, just Shulk tech alone. <laughs> like, it's ridiculous. So fantastic. What a hard character to play, but, I mean, Sean is showing right now, you know, you can get the yeah. payoff. You put the work in. It, the benefit is definitely there. Are we going to see runoff fair? <gasps> Ooh. Arc fire to stop him Good from stuff. getting off stage. Yeah, yeah. Really was, was amazing presence of Ryan's, uh, mind from Red Robin because yeah. recovering with Robin in this game is not easy, especially against an edge guarding monster like Shul. Mm -hmm. So You really, have to be able to mix it up very yeah. well just to be able to like do your own thing and finally get back and try Absolutely. to reset back to neutral. Like getting off of uh, like 
what's it called, off of uh, ledge alone, is pretty hard against Shulk, I feel. Uh, his ledge trapping seems very good. Calling out the jump directly. Says, good you're going to jump here, yeah. puts a Robin Fair right like, he there. He just knew. Absolutely. Yeah, um, Ooh. <laughs> yeah firing right back. <laughs> now, that is the Sean special. If there's one thing that is the Soul Art special, it is when you respawn, you go smash. Because when you respawn, there's no drawback. You're yeah, invincible. So you have this survival horror game. You've got this angry red Shulk coming after you. Yeah. And if you get hit once, it's over. And you can't do anything about it yeah. for, like, <laughs> however many seconds. So it's honestly, just, just uh, really great play from Sean. Yeah, um, not letting uh, Red Robin's lead get too far away. Um, and tying <laughs> it up. Funny Sean hit. Funny. <laughs> I got to say, I love watching uh, Shield Shulk run. Like, that, yeah, that run it, it's so sad. Oh, man. Why is it faster to dash attack than run, man? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I guess the answer is he's immortal. Yeah, of course. <laughs> All right, we got Robin jab. Um, great jab, but as we know, wastes up your uh, recovery. Yeah. So. I believe he has one more arc fire left, right? Yep, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, the book actually stopping you from getting punished, though. Yeah, good so stuff. That's pretty pretty good. You know, Robin mains, especially. Um, yeah. I mean, we have a lot of Robin, great Robin mains in the aerial. We have you know Red Robin. There's this guy up State Angel. We have Jewel. Mm -hmm. and what I love seeing from them is how they know exactly how many uses of everything they have left. Yeah, it's and ridiculous. You think you can punish them? They move in this weird way. You're like, wait, I can punish that. Suddenly, uh, a book comes, is coming toward your face. A, a sword. Yeah, a sword. The sword so, uh, can kill you oh, sometimes. It's crazy. That's the runoff there I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Solarts needed to be doing more of those a while ago because now, look at the situation. It's so scary. And you might think, oh, he's safe right now. He's in shield. But now, 20 seconds of no shield arc. If Red Robin can get his string going, there's nothing Sean can do to stop yeah, himself from he, getting he's killed. He's in such a bad position. Oh, oh, aggressive dare. That might be bad because, nope, he gets back to center stage. Right. What an exciting match right now we have. Yeah, it's. I can't believe Sean was able to let like let him back there so easily. Yeah. Yeah. There's something so exciting about watching two highly technical players of these uh, characters that people yeah. say you know, have a lot of potential. Yeah, they absolutely. Go at it. Um, it's not these aren't characters you see that often. Like there are a decent amount here, but like they're not as common as like other characters you see yeah. still. Are we gonna see? Oh, I was thinking at this percent, if Robin gets Shulk off stage and now he's bit out the shield art, a uh, an L Thunder, you know the, the little projectile. Yeah, yeah, that's that gonna start kills, killing so. any, anywhere past ledge. So Sean has to be especially careful. Uh, but also a Shulk up there right now will take it, and a fair edge guard. So it really is a last hit situation right now, even if it doesn't look like it. Oh, the Elf Thunder is so scary. It's such a quick... There it is! Ooh, that's the, the up, up air. air! Killing at 80! Jesus. It's an incredible play reading the directional yeah. air dodge. And really, really amazing set from um, great play yeah, from both players. But sometimes it's those little habits you have, those bad decisions, that somebody like Solars isn't going to let slide. You know, He's going to save that read for when it matters most. And... Um, I mean, <laughs> really beautiful capitalization. Yeah, no, it was definitely a very fun set to watch. You can definitely see um, both players like really a being like able to. Uh